This little cube is probably the simplest and most cost-effective way to back up phone photos and videos, get them on an SD card, transfer them to a laptop when I'm charging. Let me show you a few more details and walk you through the app. I'll explain its functionality in 20 seconds. It's so compact and looks like an Apple charger, but it's not a charger. It's supposed to be used between the charger and the phone. So the data can be backed up onto the micro SD card when the phone is being recharged. Here is the user manual. You may pause and read. It supports a maximum of 2 TB micro SD card. I'm using a 128 GB card here because my iPhone 13 has 128 GB built in with 200 GB iCloud subscription. I think it would be a great idea to relocate my old photos and videos to some other location and make multiple copies of that as my data backup. It's also compatible with Android. And yes, there is a version with USB type A connection. So you don't want to use USB C. It's not consuming any power when connected to a 30 watts USB C charger from Basis. I'm getting a maximum of 14.8 watts of charging power from this charger with the QB dual connected in the middle. There is 1.5 watts of charging power reduction. It is a small trade-off I'm willing to make for automatic data backup. The QB Pro app is required to make this work and the setup process is very simple and straightforward. It's pretty much a guided wizard. It is worth noting that everything is stored locally and nothing is being transmitted anywhere else. The push notification to get the backup process is optional. Make sure high quality memory cards and cables are used. I'm recording this in real time with no edits so you can get a very good idea of how long it may take to set this thing up, which is really easy. I think behind the scenes of this initialization, it does check the SD card speed or formatting if required. Then it will start the file transfer process. It's really hard to tell what the exporting speed is, but based on the progress bar, I would estimate maybe five megabytes per second. The initial backup may take overnight, but that's okay since it's all automatic and I'm sleeping, so it doesn't matter. I realized the charging speed reduced to 8.8 .8 watts, but without this device in the middle, I still got the same results, so it's not a big deal. Turning off the phone screen does not seem to interrupt the backup process. It is very important to stop the backup process before disconnecting the cable or disconnecting the power to avoid file corruption. I use a micro SD card to full size SD card adapter and just simply insert it into my MacBook Pro 16 inch. Hold on. After filming that part, I realized I can just keep the card in the QB Duo itself and plug in directly to my MacBook Pro and use it as a card reader. It sits flush with the bottom of the MacBook Pro and will show up as the external hard drive here so I can uh, browse all the files right there from the disk without having to use an SD card reader. If you don't have the USB Type-C port, you can always get a USB Type-C to USB Type-A adapter and still read all the contents from the SD card. When it's used in this reader mode, it cannot charge the phone nor sync up the data or back up the photos. It doesn't do anything. Before disconnecting, Remember to eject the SD card to avoid any uh, file corruption, especially when you're writing into the disk. All files are in one folder. I'm not going to show the full list due to privacy concerns. Here is one image just to verify 
it has the full resolution. The card can be locked to provide data protection. Login is required first. Since I'm using iPhone, I'm using Apple ID to log in. Then a password is required. Also says when the card is locked, it cannot be accessed from a computer. The customer service can be easily reached from the top left corner of the app. I can fill out this simple form to get my questions answered. The user manual can also be found under the settings menu, which is pretty helpful for future reference. The technical support menu basically goes back to the submit a request form. It has three menu options, browse photos from the SD card, begin backup, stop backup, and restore from the SD card. The rest of the app is pretty self-explanatory, so I just let you guys watch the rest of the video without my comment. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you would like it.